Wake that ass up. Get up and get turned up with Diddy in the morning. We get wild a bit. I'm excited to talk to this man. Um, you know, we've seen we've seen this man on TV. It, it seems like we saw him every single day at one point, every day. Now we're seeing him every now and he'll pop on and he'll tell us what's going on. You guys, I'm talking about the man. He's famous. Some people said he was the sexiest man alive. Y'all got to give it up for Dr. Fauci. Hello, Dr. Fauci. Hey, Didi, how you doing? Doing fabulous. Doctor, let's talk, first of all. Let's get into, first of, you know, people, we're going to get into your sex symbol now, right? You know that. Uh, not really, but. <laughs> yeah, okay. You're laughing because, you you know, we're going to talk about the fan mail that you get and, and everything else, Dr. Fauci. But first, let's talk about COVID and the fact that it has gripped the world for over a year now. And we have these vaccines and there's a lot of stuff going on with the vaccines. All right, I need to know something. I saw something today that said uh, 100 people out of Washington state, completely vaccinated, had gotten, went through the whole thing, been two weeks back, fully vaccinated. They got the coronavirus. Please explain that to me, please. How? You know, um, I really would let Didi, I'd like to see that data up close. That doesn't make sense. A hundred people. I mean, there will be breakthrough infections for sure. Mm -hmm. Because no vaccine is a hundred percent effective. The Moderna and the Pfizer are about 94 to 95% effective. But the idea of a hundred people getting vaccinated and getting infected, that doesn't make any sense. I, I, I you know, there's a lot of strange reports come out that are not true. So mm -hmm. let's hold off judgment on that, okay? OK, so so here's my question then, because some people are saying we're, we're so confused by this. On one hand, we're hearing people say we have to get this vaccine. Um, but then you are hearing stories of people being reinfected with the coronavirus. So how is that possible? When you say reinfected, you mean they get infected once and then they get infected again, even yeah, though they've gotten the vaccine, I've heard. The vaccine or, or having gotten infected? Well, they, oh, let's stick with that first. They've gotten it. Okay, they've had it before COVID, right? And then right. they can get reinfected again. Yeah. Is that right? And the reason for that is that there are variants that are circulating around, varying some mutational changes in the virus so that the virus that you originally got infected with is not the virus that's now circulating. So it's a little okay. bit different. So you're not protected against the new variant, it's called, because it changes and it's a bit different from the original right. one. Yeah. But there are clearly cases of people who are vaccinated who could get infected. But that's a rare event, DD. It's not common. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. So so everybody, we're talking to Dr. Fauci, and I'm trying to understand this because you know, we we keep hearing everything changes. You know, on one hand, we we've heard so many different things are coming out about what you could get if you know if you get coronavirus, you know, the after effects and this and that. Let's talk about this this vaccine, though, because now we don't know a whole lot about this, right? What, what are going to be the long lasting effects from this vaccine? There's a lot of people feel that they, they, they rushed it. No, that the, the, it's understandable how people might think it was rushed because, in fact, the virus was first recognized in January of 2020. And we had a vaccine that was made in literally unprecedentedly quick time so that by 11 months later, we were putting a highly e efficacious vaccine in the arms of people. The only thing that people don't fully appreciate, but it's understandable why they don't, is that they don't realize that that vaccine, even though we started working on it in January, it was backed up by science that had gone on for, for literally decades before. So you were seeing the fruits of decades of research when we hit the ground running, making that vaccine. So we didn't start working on it in January, 2020. The science that led up to that, the really breakthrough science in vaccine technology was going on for decades before we even thought about doing a vaccine for COVID. Mm -hmm. Wake that ass up. Get up and get turned up with Diddy in the morning. We get wild a bit.